Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how to install a latest Python version, how to install PyCharm Community Edition, how to download and install JetBrains Toolbox and how to use it and how to start and write a simple program in PyCharm. So let's start with downloading Python. You can write download Python in Google and click on the first link. You open Python ORG site and you can select downloads and windows or select a version from here uh, all depends on your needs this is the latest version 365 so we can click on this link here download you can see what are the latest features some resources about this one and some additional notes about each system and then you need to uh, choose a version in my case it should be 64 bits and executable installer so it's this one and I will, I will download the file then we need to download PyCharm so we will click on download PyCharm you have several versions you have professional and community edition this one is paid and this is free so i will use the community edition so once uh, this is started we will download it and also we can download toolbox uh, toolbox from jetbrains which is uh, very useful if you want to manage uh, uh, JetBrains applications like uh, IntelliJ, PyCharm, WebStorm. So we'll get it. I already have it installed here. So as you can see, we can manage applications by this product here. And as you can see, we have. Uh, many of them here and options for installation and here we have uh, the installed ones so we have IntelliJ idea community the other way of installing uh, PyCharm is by clicking this uh, link here but I will do it in a manual way so first let's uh, install uh, Python so I guess we should have the 64 version it should be this one so let's click it and this should start installing Python I will close those windows and if you think about uh, Python 3 or 2 so we'll uh, use the default installation uh, you can add uh, this for a env environmental variable to your path but this is optional it all depends on uh, your needs but in some cases uh, this is not advise, uh, advised because uh, you can have problems with uh, some of your programs or installations if you have uh, more than one uh, Python version and if you think between uh, Python 3 or 2 Python 2 should be ended in 2020 and the long term version should be Python 3 and this should be the only one version in future so in my opinion it's better to start with Python 3 in 2018 and as you can see we have uh, successfully installed Python and we can test with uh, uh, trying to start uh, Python but this is not recognized because we didn't uh, we didn't put the environmental variable but we should have Python here and we can start it from uh, this link uh, at the same time I will start uh, PyCharm installation 
and you can write some Python codes here for example print x and as you can see we have working Python the latest version uh, let's see what is happening with uh, our installation mm, I will use the default settings I want 64-bit launcher and association with uh, Python files I don't want this to be installed uh, you can add some association of other files I don't want this as well and here you have also idle which is uh, a editor for Python you can uh, use it if you want for example again uh, hello world and this one can be used for uh, small scripts and some tests for Python uh, so PyCharm is installed already let's start it uh, we don't have uh, any settings to import so I will click OK you can choose between those two teams I prefer Darkula but you can go for IntelliJ if you prefer uh, light teams uh, you can add some additional features like uh, R language support or uh, Vim support I will skip them you can add them later so let's start our first project with PyCharm we need to select a location and name this one is going to be test and we'll create this project you can check the tips from uh, PyCharm they are very useful and nice it seems that I'm not able to play with this dialog at uh, this moment because uh, indexes is uh, running at this moment and usually I'm opening uh, two or three tips uh, when I'm uh, starting uh, PyCharm and many of them are very useful like uh, code completion and some other interesting tips so our project is opened we can see the project structure here you can see some uh, useful shortcuts like uh, searching everywhere by double shift or uh, recent files by Control and E and we can create a new Python package let's call it test and we can create a new Python file let's call it test again and let's try to run hello world program and this can be done by control shift and f10 and as you can see everything is up and running we can see what are what is our uh, configuration as you can see we have a python interpreter here which is set for 3.6 the latest version that we installed a few minutes ago and that's all for installing Python on uh, Windows if you open uh, toolbox I guess that you're going to see both of them right now PyCharm and TLJ please uh, do share any comments or suggestions if you have any and I will share all the details in the com comment section below. Thank you for watching and see you soon.